Hello and welcome to our channel TrueUp. Semiconductor equipment is critical in the chip fabrication sector. When it comes to semiconductor equipment, I suppose everyone has heard of ASML. Simultaneously, when ASML is mentioned, everyone immediately thinks of lithography machines. Aside from the well-known lithography machine, semiconductor equipment also comprises cleaning machines, ion implantation machines, polishing machines, cleaning machines, and so on. These semiconductor devices are an essential aspect of this market, they assist and collaborate with one another. Everyone knows that ASML, a semiconductor equipment firm, is a world-leading lithography machine manufacturer capable of producing EUV lithography machines with dimensions of 7 nanometers and smaller. However, domestic semiconductor equipment has a superb architecture as well, and there is encouraging news of another breakthrough. What kinds of advancements in domestic semiconductor equipment have occurred this time? What is the potential of the domestic semiconductor equipment market? A significant advancement in domestic semiconductor equipment. Chip production is a highly complicated industrial process. If chip design is focused on industrial software and chip architectural technologies, chip production must meet stringent control standards for the semiconductor equipment industry. The lithography, etching, ion implantation, and cleaning procedures used in chip manufacture are all created by semiconductor equipment. The lithography machine, which corresponds to the lithography process, is perhaps the most eye-catching. Many individuals are concerned about the supply of ASML lithography machines due to the international market. Everyone knows why the company's EUV lithography machines cannot be supplied to mainland consumers. While lithography equipment are useful, they are simply one component of the chip production process. Domestic efforts and several advancements have been made in the remainder of the realm of semiconductor equipment. For example, PNC Technologies Cleaning Equipment has received 28 nanometers certification, and China Electronics Technologies Ion Implanter has accomplished a full spectrum of localization advances, which may correlate to the 28 nanometers process. There are several breakthrough examples of domestic semiconductor equipment, however others may argue that this is merely the 28 nanometers process, which is not the most advanced. Domestic semiconductors have broken through again, this time at 5 nanometers, and are more than mature technology. According to a report published on April 7, Hunan Research Institute has created a completely autonomous 12-inch wafer laser grooving machine that supports the 5 nanometers DBG process, Tyco ultra-thin ring cutting, and laser grooving features. From the introduction, it is clear that this semiconductor device uses laser technology and supports many types of pulse-width lasers. The production team's breakthrough in this research allows domestic slotting equipment to achieve good ultra-thin process processing capabilities within the 5 nanometers process technology range, as well as accumulate higher-end and more independent industrialization advantages for the domestic semiconductor equipment market. The domestic semiconductor equipment market must continually amass such research results in order to establish an autonomous and controllable manufacturing line. The 5 nanometers technique is already a cutting-edge technology. So yet, home semiconductor equipment can only dabble in the 5 nanometers process to a limited level. It contains China microelectronics etching machine equipment, in addition to the fully automated 12-inch wafer laser grooving equipment that achieved a milestone this time. More cleaning equipment, physical film deposition, and lithography machines are continually being developed in order to accelerate the investigation of higher-end advanced process technologies. 5 nanometers is only done by industry leaders or premier research universities. What is the market potential for home semiconductor equipment? It has taken more than a half century to build chip integrated circuits in other countries. Intel, Nvidia, and other well known corporations invented their own CPU and GPU industries. And these global behemoths work together to develop industry leading semiconductor equipment. For example, ASML's EUV lithography machine is a collection of top technologies from throughout the world, and all types of leading semiconductor equipment are supplied by international vendors. However, if you concentrate on the domestic market, you will see that many semiconductor equipment makers continue to accelerate, from mainstream sectors to market segments, with almost full layouts and all-out efforts. So, how big is the domestic semiconductor equipment market? This is dependent on which domestic semiconductor equipment makers are participating in the breakthrough and how much actual progress has been made. Let us begin with the lithography machines that are most concerned with the outer environment. Shanghai Microelectronics is China's sole company capable of producing entire lithography equipment. It includes layouts in both the front and back. The former focuses on the lithography process, whereas the later focuses on chip packing. 
Shanghai Microelectronics has the capacity for mass production of the 90 nanometers mature process, and it has been rumored that it would produce a 28 nanometers immersion lithography equipment, however this has not been formally disclosed. In terms of the back-end lithography equipment, Shanghai Microelectronics has delivered the first 2.5D-3D packaging litho. Furthermore, China Micro Semiconductor is one of the world's leading etching machine manufacturers, and high-end etching equipment has joined the production lines of wafer manufacturers such as TSMC, Yangtze Memory, and Hua Honghanli. Domestic firms such as PNC Technology, North Huachuang, and Shangmei Semiconductor all master the necessary key technologies when it comes to cleaning equipment. Nora Cleaning Equipment has been delivered to SMIC, and it is the main core provider of cleaning machine equipment in China. In the domestic semiconductor equipment industry, these are merely the tip of the iceberg, and more supplier businesses are doing research in the divided components market. Leading producers of lithography machine parts in China include Huazhua Jinka, Wawang Optics, Kei Hong Yuan, and others. As a result, the potential of homegrown semiconductor equipment is enormous. Each semiconductor equipment industry has its own set of players. These domestic industries, when combined, have boundless power. The breakthrough of domestic semiconductor equipment has a stronger hue when combined with the Hunan Research Institute's goal of laser grooving equipment. Chip fabrication is dominant. How can you capitalize on prospects in the semiconductor equipment market? Semiconductor equipment facilitates chip manufacture, therefore regardless of the real breakthrough impact, the ultimate aim is to put it on the market and improve chip manufacturing. Enterprises spend in R&D and bring equipment to market in order to boost revenue and assure profits in the future. The need for semiconductor equipment is expanding now that chip fabrication is booming. So, how could local producers capitalize on market potential in semiconductor equipment? I believe this may begin with two factors, technology and industrial capability. Increase technological R&D, conquer more sophisticated core technology of semiconductor equipment, and obtain bigger benefits. Additionally, manufacturing capacity is being increased, more semiconductor equipment is being sent to the market, and market share is being gained. As a result, He Cho was unable to maintain his market position. Finally, as a Chinese, I am quite pleased to note that local semiconductor equipment has achieved another milestone, with a fully automated 12-inch wafer laser grooving equipment successfully created using a 5 nanometers process. This is another another milestone for homegrown semiconductor equipment. This also creates the groundwork for us to reduce our reliance on foreign technology at an early stage, which is a step forward. I hope that China's technology will be powerful, and that situations like Huawei will not be sanctioned in the future. I feel that there will be more breakthrough excellent news in the future, not just today. Thanks for watching our video. We would appreciate it if you subscribed our channel and gave us a thumb. See you.